whenever we get into these holiday times, we get a lot of conversations about real estate. And being that I've been doing a home and finance radio show since 2010, you know, we get a lot of questions about where, what do we, what do we see in the market? What's going on? And one of the big ones that we were talking about right now, especially having started the credit repair operation last year or earlier in the year is when is debt consolidation a good idea? And let's first chat about debt consolidation and what it is. There's a couple of ways of doing debt consolidation. Right now, as I just mentioned to you, 58% equity in homes. So if you're a homeowner and can afford it based on your job, the best way to start out with is to give a call to a home loan strategist. That's what we do, right? And I'm not saying this to be self-serving. I've got a great team of people. But the bottom line here is explore options. I hear so many people, I'm going to call the credit counseling center. Okay, well, you can do that, but is that your best option? I'm going to file bankruptcy. Okay, you can do that. Is that your best option? Explore the home loan, the home loan strategist. Why? Well, you've got equity there. And I know you don't want to tap into your home equity, but Number one, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not giving any legal advice. If you file bankruptcy, there may be limitations on how much home equity you can have before the court will force you to tap into it. Again, I'm not the expert on that. But let's consider, if you've got debts, and say you have fifty or $75,000 in debts, and I know it sounds like a lot of money it is, and I also know there's a lot of people that are in that situation. So what do you do? Well, you might take a look and see what is your blended household interest rate, your blended household interest rate. And what that is, is we throw into a calculator what your mortgage is. And you may have gotten a great mortgage at two and a half, three, three and a half percent, but that's only a piece of your financial, your, your debt side of your balance sheet. So let's take a look at everything. Put the, put that in there, put the credit cards in there. They're probably at 24%. They may be going up because some of them are tied to prime rate and prime rate is tied to the Fed funds rate. It's going up and we anticipate that'll go up another half a percent in December. So that's been going up. You look at all of these debts and put them all together and say, you know something? What if I take and pay everything off? That's one version of debt consolidation. You take a new loan out on your real estate because you may say, okay, well, I've got that 3.5% mortgage, but by the time I put a, make a weighted average of all my debts, a weighted average of all my debts, then maybe I'm looking at 7.5%, 8%. It's irrelevant what that price number is right now. Why do I say it's irrelevant? Well, the reason that I say that it's irrelevant is because that number right there is something you can't do anything with, right? If you've got a three and a half percent mortgage, great. Or you've got a seven or 8% mortgage, that's fine. It's all about the strategy. You're getting everything paid off and you're going to minimize your payments on a monthly basis. So by paying all those things off, even though you've got a higher interest rate, you're bundling it all together and your household debt service, the amount of money it takes to pay all of your bills on the credit cards, the cars, the student loans. I know those are in, in, in uh, forbearance right now unless it's the, the uh, uh, private ones. But put all of that stuff together. Pay it all off. Public student loans, the, the federal student loans, I'm saying don't pay those off. I, would I say make payments into a side account? Yes, while there's no interest, make the payments into a side account. That way when they finally decide what they're going to do, if you have to start making payments again, you've got a big lump sum of money to make those payments. But I digress. You're going to pay all of that off because when you're doing your loans right now, when you do a home loan right now, the big issue is that you're going to get the most expensive form of a loan. It's called a cash out refinance, cash out refinance. And we're only going to keep that for about six months. 
Why are we only keeping it for six months? Well, I just told you, if you're listening to the Mortgage Minute just a few minutes ago, I shared with you that we're forecasting interest rates are going to go down into the low fives. Well, when that happens, second, third quarter of next year, maybe fourth quarter of next year, well, then what we're going to be looking at is we're going to say, we've already taken care of the debts. We've already got the taking care of the cash out hit that we're going to get on the new loan. And we're going to restructure that loan one more time and get you into a lower interest rate for the long term. Now you say, well, Ron, you're just doing that because it's self-serving and you get two loans. Well, it does get two loans, but it's for your benefit. The idea is, what is that 7% loan going to cost you for six months versus what it's going to benefit you in the long run? Maybe cost you a couple hundred bucks, right? It's because the difference between a 7% loan and a 5% loan for six months, the payment on that, not going to be a huge amount of money. So we're going to redo that. And you know we can build the costs into it. Do we want to? We'll get you a total cost analysis so we understand whether it makes sense for you to do that or not. Now, Chris, great question. Are banks doing HELOCs? Yes, they're doing HELOCs, but we want to stay away from that. Why? Well, when you do the HELOC, what that's going to do for you is you're going to be able to pay off those debts, but the HELOC is going to be tied to prime rate. That's going to go up as well with as interest rates, as the Federal Reserve increases interest rates. And then when it comes time to do that, redo the loan down the road, when we're at that 5% interest rate or five and a half, no guarantees, but if our forecast is correct, when we get there, now we're back in the sense of doing a cash out refinance again. We haven't taken care of that. We haven't got that out of the way. We want to do that cash out refinance right now. That way we get that out of the way. The HELOC will make us do a cash out later. So not only are you going to pay more money for the HELOC because it's a, a higher interest rate, HELOC is a home equity line of credit. So not only are you paying more for that in the interest rate, but down the road as part of the strategy, it's going to cost you again. So that's not the best strategy in the world. We're going to continue this conversation when we come back. Continue our conversation. When is debt consolidation a good idea? So we started chatting about that in the last segment, talking about the idea of consolidating all your debts. It starts with getting a blended household interest rate. So what I want you to do there is just send a uh, either an email or with PDFs, however you want to do it, the easiest thing to do is to take a copy. You can put a dig a marker and black out account numbers if you want. I don't care. And send over your mortgage statement and a copy of all of your other regular monthly bill statements. Not utilities, but all credit cards, all auto, all student loan, uh, all installment loans, whatever you might have, personal loans, any of that. Send all of it. Send it to rj at ronsegalradio.com, rj at ronsegalradio.com. We'll throw it into our blended calculator. So it's a blended debt calculator. And we'll figure out what is your household debt. And we'll look at it and say, does this make sense to adjust? It may or may not. It may make sense that you know we include bills A, B, C, and D and not F and G or whatever. I forgot about E. That's in there too, right? But we're gonna we may say that we got to we're gonna consolidate all of those. There's an option for you. How much money will that save you? Now we have one client, private client of ours. It saved them. Are you ready? One thousand three hundred dollars per month. One thousand three hundred per month. That's significant. Now the other beauty of this is get started today. And your first payment on the new loan is February, February 1. So I digress. Let's get back to why it's so good for you. So we're going to put all that into the blended household calculator. We're going to see what that does. Now, the other thing I did not mention in the last segment was when you go to do step two, and this is what I call the mortgage two-step, when we go to step two, and Josh, we can even use that for the headline of this section, the mortgage two-step. When we get to step two, I know he's laughing at me. <laughs> uh, when, we get, when we get to step two, the likelihood is 
your credit scores are going to be much better than they are today. Why? Because we're not going to recommend closing any of those credit cards. If you've got a car payment that we pay off over after six months, that's going to show as a paid installment loan. If you follow the instructions and maintain the, the zero balance or minimal balance on the credit cards that we pay off, that's going to show a beneficial utilization. So your utilization is go from where you're overextended right now to where you've got a very minimal utilization. We'll show you how if you go, uh, I'll find the segment. We tell you about going and building a, uh, how, to, how to build your credit by using your credit properly. Not only paying the bills properly because we already paid those off, you're going to look at rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com, so you pay your bills correctly going forward. And we keep those credit cards active. But by doing these things, your, your FICO credit score, I'm not worried about your Vantage score or your credit score, your FICO score is going to go up. Now, you can monitor that if you want, cleanall3.com, cleanall3.com. You can go and get that. It does cost you a little bit of money to monitor it every month. It costs you a dollar to get started. But the bottom line here is your scores will be higher. Your debts will be lower. Your debt-to-income ratio will be better. So your, your interest rate will be maximized. You're going to get the best rate you can qualify for by following this game plan, the Mortgage Two-Step. Now, what are the other options for debt consolidation? Yeah, I know. You can go to the consolidation company. There's no, another one that you can do. It's going to get you in trouble, but I'll tell you about it. I just heard it on the business channel this morning. Go and get, if you qualify, a zero interest Tra uh, balance transfer credit card. Why is that going to get you in trouble? Because you are a human. And in human nature, what ends up happening is you're going to go and you're going to get the balance transfer credit card and pay transfer the balance from one credit card to another. It's got a zero interest rate for the trial period. And then you're going to go back and you're going to run up the credit card bill on the other one. It happens every time. I know you're not the one, but it happens every time. So the balance transfer credit card, it is an option. You'll hear about it. I didn't want you to think I forgot about it. No, I understand it. I know it. And it's not a good idea for you. Calling your the companies and trying to consolidate. There is a scam out there. I'm going to tell you the scam, debt consolidation scam. I don't know if it's, it's not illegal, but it's not good for you either. So you've got these companies that say, you know something, we can negotiate with your creditors, pay us first. You're going to send them, you're, they're going to take all your credit card bills and they're going to say, okay, you've got $10,000 in credit card debt and we want you to start sending us $500. Don't make your credit card payments. You're going to make that $500 payment to us. We're going to accumulate that money. And then what we're going to do is when there's enough money there, we're going to start, we're going to go to credit card number one and we'll say, we'll pay you 10 cents on the dollar. They're going to say no. They go to credit card number two and they're going to say, we're going to pay you 10 cents on the dollar. Do you want it? And you've got to, you've got to agree to accept that as payment in full. And while they're accumulating the money, your credit score is getting hammered. It's dropping quicker than I, I don't know what. It's just dropping, dropping quick. You know, it's dropping quickly. They might even start talking about suing you because you're not making the payments on your debt. So the issue here becomes: be careful of that one. Now, I can tell you through the credit repair service, we will help you. Call, give you the the the, the coaching to call your creditors. And say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Creditor, I'm having some problems. Can you help me? Can we put get on a payment plan? I want to pay you. But I just need a little bit of help. They might be willing to freeze your account. They might be willing to reduce the interest rate so that they know they're getting something all the time. And we, we'll coach you on how to do that. We'll talk more about that. So just to finish up our conversation on debt consolidation, a good idea. 
So the bottom line here is we've given you a few different things. Number one is is doing getting the blended household interest rate and looking at a debt consolidation loan mortgage, the, the mortgage two-step. The other one is that you can actually look at a home equity line of credit, which I told you that's going to continue to increase the year payments, but it is an option for you. It is quick. Uh, again, not as good an option, but it is there. We talked about the scam of the debt consolidation companies that say they're going to pay you, uh, that you pay them. Now, what is the other part of it that I missed? Who gets their money first? They do. They take their fee, which is, is, is a lot. They take their fee before anybody gets paid or any offers are made. We discussed the idea of bankruptcy. So if you've got equity in your home, you don't want to be doing that because that's going to hurt you for a longer period of time, although there are strategies to deal with that as well. So the bottom line is there's a lot of strategies. What am I going to recommend to you? I don't know. I can tell you this. If you send your information to us, rj at ronsegalradio.com, rj at ronsegalradio.com, we'll take a look at it for you for free. We'll give you several options. We may say that calling the, the consumer collection bureaus is the right answer for you. And they negotiate with your creditors. They were set up as part of the law, and they negotiate with your creditors. But if you own a home and you've got a bunch of equity there, there may be a much better way that's a, a short-term or a very quick solution for you. And as this one other family that we, we did the scenario for mentioned to you, $1,300 a month. What do they do with that? Well, they can put it back on the principal of the property on their new loan, and that helps them pay it off that much quicker. Maybe they want to put 1000 of it toward the new loan and, and keep 300 so that they are got a rainy day fund handy. All of those things are possible. We'll show them all to you in the process. We just need to make that call to get started. That's the debt consolidation. A good idea is when is it a good idea? As soon as you're not sleeping at night. As soon as you're not sleeping at night. That's basically the time when it's a good idea. What do you have to lose? A little bit of your time? Well, you're already stressed. <coughs> So the bottom line there is make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or just send the documents in. Like I say, put a black line through your account number. We don't want it. You're going to put a black line through your address. We don't care. We might need to know what county you're in, what, what, what city and state you live, what city you're in or state you're in, different rules for different places. So that, that we may need to know. But other than that, there's nothing that's there that's not public information already. So let's chat about that. We'll also look and see where your where are your FICO scores. <coughs> you can get that that one dollar report from CleanAll3.com. CleanAll3.com. And again, that's just a report that costs you one dollar. You use it, get what you need out of it, and then you decide: Do you want to keep monitoring, or do you want to get rid of it? And you know, we do, we do that during the, well, we can help you with that during the credit audit when we do that audit report and get that for you. And again, the audit report is free at least till the end of this month. We may, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to charge for it next month, but right now until the end of November, it's free. All you need to do is go to creditsanitizer.com, creditsanitizer.com, put the information in there that we need to get you started there. We'll send you a link to get the $1 credit report and you'll be all set to move on with that. Hope that answers the question, when is debt consolidation a good idea? If you have questions on it, give me a call, 800-306-1990.